Hey, welcome back everybody. So we are continuing with our unboxings this week. And we have finally made it to the Char B1 Best Tank. It was a French tank if I am correct. So I have wanted this one for a while. Uh, I was very glad to see that they had made it in plastic. Sometimes I get this confused with the Matilda, which I had. So for a while I was thinking I already had this, um, you know, but then I realized it wasn't the same tank. Now this was actually a very good French tank from what I understand. And uh, when the Germans got these intact, they would tend to repurpose them. As you can see, there's just as many German patterns as French. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I, I think I have a squad of French, not many. So I could use them as, as use it as a support for them, or you know I could also use it as a German in a scenario. Uh, maybe they're bringing out their last tanks in like a push to Berlin. Let's see what it says here. Upgrading the Char B1, the Char B1 BIS had thicker armor and an APX4 turret with a longer barrel, 47 millimeter gun giving it more anti-tank capacity alongside the 75 millimeter hall mounted howitzer okay french experiences during the great war influenced their belief a breakthrough tank would be needed in future conflicts hence the design of the heavy char b1 and b1 bis among the most powerful tanks at the time the char b1 bis was very effective against german panzers in 1940 during the battle of france However, slow speed and high fuel consumption made it ill-adapted to the more fluid style of warfare being fought at that time. With the fall of France, the victorious German military captured 161 Char B1 BIS tanks. Now see, that is what you call leaving a lot in the tank. The French should never have surrendered as long as they had 161 tanks that they could have filled it. Several were also converted into flamethrowing tanks. So, uh, it says this kit allowed you to build French or German gun tanks as one or two versions of German flame panzers. That's interesting. Well, let's see what it allows us to do. Let's open it. So, as always, it's always a treat to open the uh, Warlord Games tanks. We get this color assembly guide with some more information on the tank. These are not exactly the same as the, what you get on the front. Uh, the assemblies with these are usually pretty straightforward. A tallery makes these and tries to keep them uh, relatively straightforward. Although there is going to be some drilling looks like. You're going to have to drill some holes. Well, You're going to get you a pin vise. Uh, not that many assembly steps I mean we're pretty much right onto the turret now this is the Char B1 bis so what was that other one so I, don't know, I guess you put the turret together then you decide what you want it to be oh this is the German version And then the German flame panzer. So that's interesting. Ah, I don't know what I'm going to do. This kit is one that it wouldn't even be bad to get two of them. You know, to get two of the kits. You know, because you could definitely do each version. The flame panzer pans is very tempting. But I do like a French tank. See, what I think I might do is build the French, paint it as French, and then maybe slap a German logo on there and say the Germans just captured it and um, they didn't have time to repaint it and all of that stuff. This time we also get an Italeri brochure or something, I guess basically giving some information on their models and products boat action warlord games 
don't see anything on the problem with the teller is a lot of this is 170 second yeah which you can see which that doesn't that doesn't really work where somebody needs to tell a teller that because i don't know why they're marketing their 170 second stuff to us your decal sheets i like warlord games decals they're pretty easy to apply the char v1 bis is there two in here yeah so that's your french and then the German flame ponzer. Now, obviously, if you use it as a German tank, you would just use the same stats here. This is just if you go with the flame ponzer variant. That flamethrower has a range of 12, D6 plus one shots. So. That's very nice. All right, let's take a look at the sprues. All right, so as is common with a tallery, you get two sprues, two sprues only. They keep everything pretty compact. The tracks, which are pretty much pre-assembled. Some accessories. It almost looks like just a lot of the upper turret and hatch stuff. The side halls or side plates. Upper hall. You have some figures. Which is one of the things I really like about the plastic kits too. Is they started including drivers and commanders and figures. Which is real nice. Okay. Sorry about that. So this is the rest of the tank. With, I think these are going to be your two hall variants. One for the Germans and one for the French. I almost think they even give you a German commander in there. So you could actually use him in another tank. In some of your German tanks if you didn't get commanders. But those are your two, two halls. I mean pretty much nothing. And then you get your smoke. I don't know why they give you these little bases here. Because <laughs> the figures have no legs. So these are just kind of free. I don't know why they put those in here. But I will take them. And that is your Char B1 Bis. So very nice kit. Take care everybody. God bless.